Ladies and gentlemen, Halloween Horror Nights Week 2024 is sponsored by Dubby. Thank you so much for Dubby for uh, allowing us to be a part of this family. I've been drinking Dubby now for a few years, um, and it's been just a really, really good drink. No crashes or anything with 10 different flavors, two caffeine-free flavors, and a bunch of other ways for them to have that ultimate energy drink taste. Now, not only do they have all their energy drinks on their site, like the powders, all that stuff, but they also include shaker cups, and they got a ton of merch. That is a lot of fun. We're going to be getting our hands on some of that merch really soon. But, yeah, use code Knights of Horror for 10% off your order. W.GG, check out their store, all their amazing products, but let them know Knights of Horror sent you. And use that promo code Knights of Horror for 10% off now for your regularly scheduled program. What's up, boils and ghouls? Welcome back to the Nights of Horror. My name is Sam, and I will be your host today. Happy HHN week. We hope that you've been having a great time with us all this week. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and rank all five iterations of the Universal Monsters maze. <laughs> So we'll start at number five and work our way up to number one. So coming in at number five would be Universal Monsters Unmasked. This was last year's house in 2023 and by far my least favorite of the HHN Universal Monsters mazes at Hollywood. This maze had a lot of great hype coming in after Midsummer Scream in 2023. John Murdy broke it down. I'm mean, going to kind of give us a preview of what we could expect in this house. However, having only gone through it once, I was very underwhelmed with how it actually turned out. It had one of my least favorite things, which is black walls, and the scares kind of just felt the same throughout. Um, and overall, wasn't just wasn't one of my favorite houses in terms of scares. It, it obviously the music is always going to bang because Slash does an incredible job at each and every iteration of the Universal Monsters, but really by far Universal Monsters Unmasked in 2023 was my least favorite. There was just so many things I, I I didn't like the black walls, the scares felt unoriginal. I mean, it kind of felt like it ran its course, even though the storyline seemed like it was going to be cool as we walked through the uh, underbellies of France and and Paris. But it just, it didn't deliver. The The concept didn't come to life the way that I would have liked. So that's why I'm ranking it as my number five. Um, again, we're going to go here at number four, Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Now, granted, this was a step better um, in 2022 than, than the 2023 counterpart. Um, but again, this is another maze where I go, great concept. Um, having coming out of Midsummer Scream again in 2022 as John Murdy walked us through what we could expect. It, there was a lot of cool things and, and I liked the story. But once again, the story from storyboard to actual coming to life didn't really make sense. It was The story was kind of hard to follow if you weren't aware of what happened. Um, so like uh, it, it did it was cool to be able to see little behind the scenes with John Murdy in 2022 with this one. I um, mean, like how it was a continuation of the Orlando storyline and how like both of the stories came together to be like one conducive story. But I've heard from many people who had gone to both Orlando and Hollywood that the story really didn't progress the way that they thought it was where Orlando was part one and then Hollywood would have been part two of that story. Um, just because of a, a few different floating things. But overall, I, I enjoyed this house. Unmasked did not enjoy. Legends Collide, I did enjoy. It was kind of middle of tier for me. Um, but the other three iterations of Universal Monsters are just quite the step above. Coming in at number three for me, Universal Monsters, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. This was by far one of my favorite houses of 2019 was a super fun, fun walkthrough. Um, having been one of the first houses I got to experience at HHN since 2019 was my first year at the event, it was super awesome to be able to go through this house and and, and got to see a, a cool storyline that was quite easy to follow. 
Um, I loved the concept of really kind of it being a continuation of the 2018 storyline in, in some part. Um, but being able to really just dive into the Frankenstein's monster um, as well as the Wolfman. One of my favorite rooms was towards the end where you had the movie posters and both Frankenstein and the Wolfman coming out. Also having to walk between them. Um, and that house was super awesome. And it was just a really, really cool concept. I loved the cue music for this one. As like you you waited to go into the camp there. It was super cool. The music was super fun. Um, and even if you had to wait an hour, just because I enjoyed the cue music, it really wasn't that hard of a time. Um, and then just from beginning to end, this house delivers. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Coming at number two for me will be Universal Monsters, the 2018 version, which is the first year. I did not get to go through this house, um, considering, as mentioned on the previous one, that 2019 was my first year at the event. However, I've watched this walkthrough many, many times. Shout out to Sharp Productions for providing a really, really clear walkthrough. Prior to filming this, I went and rewatched it again. Um, this one just really delivers a great facade. I love that you kind of go through like a cemetery. We have the tower um, in there. And then this one really just gets so many monsters there. I um, mean, it really didn't feel like an overkill because you got like Notre Dame, I believe. You had the Phantom. You had Frankenstein's monster, the bride. There's so, so, so many monsters that really filled up this house. I um, mean, really just began the legacy. This house delivers on all fronts. And probably if I would have been able to go through it myself, I would have been able to, to put this one at number one. Maybe. I don't know. Um, because obviously watching it on the screen is one thing, but living it is a completely other thing. But all of the walkthroughs I've seen of this house are super awesome. Um, and then not to mention, like, because this was in the uh, Parisian courtyard, it kind of overflows into the monster masquerade, which I'm a, I'm a sucker for um, when the houses kind of pour out into the scare zone and really are just a continuation of the story. Overall, uh, if I was going to give this house a score, I'm going to give it an 8.9 or a 9 um, just because of, of how great it was and how even just watching it on camera, it's a frightening experience and it's jam-packed from beginning to end. I really, really enjoy the typical layouts of the Parisian courtyard. Um, and that's why at number one, we have another one that graced that fine area of the park. And that's the Brides of Frankenstein the 2021. Um, really, really awesome. This was, this one delivers on all fronts. 10 out of 10. Uh, probably my second favorite house of all time at HHN Hollywood. Um, has the best teaser in 2021. Super awesome teaser. Really got us pumped up for the event. Um, and this one really delivers. It's a continuation because it comes like towards the end of Universal Monsters 2018 where Frankenstein gets crushed. I mean, it really just continues that story. I mean, the bride is just a complete, complete hero in this thing. Um, if I cussed, I would probably use some great cuss words here, but uh, I do not. But the bride is super awesome. I mean, it really delivers. Um, and then once again, like 2018, this one flows out into a scare zone. This year we had the Silver Scream Queens, which is a super awesome concept and really highlighted females. Um, and, and overall, a really, really awesome house through and through. Although it was a quite a little bit of a shorter walkthrough, they do frame by frame deliver in 2021 with the Brides of Frankenstein. 
Now, looking forward to this here, um, we have Universal Monsters Eternal Bloodlines. Um, and this one is another great highlight of the uh, Bride of Frankenstein. We're going to have Sasuke Van Helsing, which is an original character, teaming up with the Bride of Frankenstein to battle Dracula's daughter. Um, if you watched the uh, Midsummer Screen panel, we got a basic little intro preview to what we can expect at this house from John Murdy. Obviously, we didn't get it the full breakdown, but we got some great ideas and concepts. And so I'm really excited to be able to watch how this one comes to life. I, I definitely think that although we had a little bit of a low in 2023 with Universal Monsters unmasked, I think they're going to be coming back stronger than ever with Eternal Bloodlines. Um, and this one is a house that is coming to both coasts. Um, I know that uh, Orlando's house is going to be opening relatively soon and so this is probably going to be one of the ones I, i'm eager to check out this coming weekend um as people's walkthroughs come out so i'm excited to see how this one will come out and then seeing how the following week how it'll come to life in hollywood um just super awesome overall we're, we're really excited with universal monsters um, they've been a great addition and something we look forward to to see how the creative team at both coasts bring these concepts to life um, and try to find new and fun ways to put spins on them um, and really just highlight the cornerstones of what makes the Universal Monsters and Universal, Ho Universal Horror Films what they are today. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and drop a comment down below about which house you were most hyped about as well as your thoughts on what you expect to see eternal bloodlines if you haven't done so already go ahead and drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel um, to stay alert we got many many great videos coming out for the remainder of hhn week um, as well as universal hollywood once that event starts we got some great videos coming out from the event and then you can also look forward to many great videos for not scary form over the coming weeks because we do have not scary form week coming up as well as when the event happens we're going to be doing our best to cover as much of it as possible um, and so you're going to want to turn those bell notifications on to be alerted when we drop uh, many many more videos throughout the remainder of haunt season uh, but if nothing else we really hope you have a great rest of your day and we hope you have a spooky and great season peace